what we're going to listen to uh, for this first rap is an excerpt from a podcast that I like. Um, the, the hosts are two New York hip-hop radio DJs, and the guest is Jay-Z. And it's going to start with one of the hosts talking about how he and Jay-Z own the same vest, and the host wore it to the, show, the, the taping of this podcast in hopes that Jay-Z would also wear it. But Jay-Z didn't wear it. So they talk, he talks about his disappointment in this fact for a little bit, and then Jay-Z makes a joke, and that's what I want you guys to listen for. And then I'm going to go right into rapping from there. So uh, if you can play that first track, DJ, let's do Jay, it. Jay, I thought we was on the same wavelength. We're the only guys that have this vest, yes. you and me. Yes. I thought you would wear it today like <laughs> me and Jay could be vest brothers. <laughs> we could be vest friends. <laughs> Hiya! Best friends, everybody heard Jay-Z. Guess who's as big a word nerd as me? Jay-Z. And if the slickest rapper ever to spit it can make a joke this corny, I really feel like he's kicking the door open for me to dork out to my heart content. It's like Jay's got me covered so it won't concern me if you groan when I tell you that I'm opening a cremation service and I'm calling it Burnt and Earn E. If you're okay with best friends, then I think that you have to accept that equally. And it's not just puns. This applies to all varieties of linguistic geekery. Like, Jay has this song called Threats, where he says that his critics can duck sick. If you switch the beginnings of those last two words, he's saying that his critics can suck dick. The letters that Jigga flipped are my permission slip to go ahead with this quip. It's a description of what would happen if Dick Clark turned off a light switch. Click dark. Or get lucky, Pharrell says, let's raise the bar and a glass to the stars. Raise the bar and raise a glass. Same word applied differently to two different parts of the sentence. Or the rapper MF Doom says he holds the mic in your attention like two swords, holds the mic and holds your attention. These gave me the confidence to move forwards and see if you'd be tickled if I said that last night I was a little dehydrated. So I drank a bunch of water and went straight to sleep, which is how I wet my whistle and bed. Now let's talk Eminem, an MC who I truly do respect. But with all due respect, spelling words backwards is a skill that he still needs to perfect. I have a few selected sample lyrics to show you. First off, love is evil, spell it backwards, I'll show you. But not exactly, it's off a bit. And the same for cock backwards is still cock, you pricks. These are errors that he ought to fix, or y'all are Eminem backwards, mini me. He's a genius generally, but this just isn't his talent zone. Whereas I am a whiz with the palindromes. Like this one I wrote about our most overweight president. Taft, fat, minimal and elegant. Now let's switch gears, fam. Talk about the Jay and Kanye song, Ham, hard as a motherfucker, or another such jam. Cream by the Wu-Tang Clan. Cash rules everything around me. Also of note, LL Cool J did a record called Goat, greatest of all time, and Drake's got YOLO, you only live once, the motto. Well, I wrote a song called Flab Slab about a chubby kid who learns to box so that he can stand up to his bullies, and he reclaims the name to mean float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. Or what about this little Wayne line? Real G's move in silence like lasagna. G stands for gangster, lasagna has a silent G. Well, if you like letter games about pasta, then picture the words mac and cheese. Mac is spelled M-A-C. Now what if that stood for mac and cheese? How crazy would that be? And what if that Mac stood for Mac and Cheese and it just kept stacking back and back again like a nesting doll or Inception, y'all, with this macaroni acronym or macronym? And if you think that joke's cheesy, it'll bounce right off me, not distress or offend. Hearing Jay say vest friends made me feel invincible like I'm wearing a bulletproof vest, friends. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> 